Abdulaziz al-Mukrin, commander of al-Qaeda's military wing, emerges as leader. He is determined to go on the offensive. <laughs> I was born in Riyadh and raised in a good home. I'm married and blessed with a little daughter who's now 10 and another who is nearly two. In 1989, everyone was talking about Afghanistan. The preachers on television supported it back then, when jihad was acceptable. So I went to the land of jihad. I trained at the Wa'al Jihad camp where I became an expert in many military techniques. I participated in the wars in Afghanistan and Algeria. Then God allowed me to take part in the fight in Bosnia. Later, I went to Yemen and then to Somalia. There, I was imprisoned for two and a half years. After that, I was sent back to the land of the two holy mosques, where I was also thrown in prison. A month after my release, God allowed me to go back to Afghanistan, where I took part in the recent fighting against the Americans. I have had the honor of seeing Sheikh Osama and sitting with him. My relationship with the Sheikh is like that between a son and his father, and between a student and his teacher. <laughs> May God lengthen our days to allow us to enrage our enemies, cut them down and massacre them, till they either join the religion of God, or we kill every last one of them. Our model is the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, who said to the infidels of Quraysh, I bring you slaughter. Slaughter.